I was like, I don't know, like I was actually a jock at school that was kind of, I got expelled from the first That's team. Interesting. Yeah, no, I was proper rugby surfer boy or bodyboarder. That, that like, makes sense because there is that culture like as well within like the surf scene. Like yeah. I do find like surfers and rugby players aren't that far apart a lot of the time. No, yeah, well, there's that, there was, I mean, I don't know if it was a Durban uh, yeah. subgenre, but there was the surfer jock, yes. right? Yeah, That's yeah. what I mean. Like yeah. there's a lot, but there were also like the surfer jocks who, weren't rugby players. They just like fighting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was that. Uh, I remember like when we used to sit at the beach, it was like, you know, North Beach first, like dairy. And there would always be the odd like kerfuffle and yeah. one would get fucked up and then everyone would go down the beach and smash, and but nothing happened. would come into it and like oh, yeah, yeah. surf moms, bro. Oh, surf moms, yeah. <laughs> I've got stories about a graph mom. That was like weird when uh, <laughs> opt one and two kill... I was okay. like, I was uh, taking... I that is. I'm below boys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, they... We had taken some LSD and they, um, I was like, I'm going home with this girl and uh, you take my car home. Responsible. So they take, they, <laughs> they, they, they have a car. Yeah, they get home and they're like, let's go bombing. Yeah, obviously. And they go to Pine Town, <laughs> fucking Pine Town to some train yard. And then, like, anyway, long story short, I got like this call. It's like, hi, I'm the graph mom. <laughs> Um, your car's fine. The boys are like in jail. We all like hit you up. I'm like, what the fuck? Wow. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Like, but that's what I got to experience is like being friends yes. with all yeah. the subcultures. I got all these little pocket of stories, you know, which was cool. Um, well, that's what we were t- kind of talking about before we got on the marks was like the way I see you was like, it was a bit of like a, a yes man. Yeah. Like you were just like, if someone called you up and were like, hey, we need photos of this or that. Or even someone was just like, hey, I'm doing this thing. And you would be like, cool, I'll come along. Like if, if there was space, like you were like, sure, let's go do it. I just wanted to do cool things. And that was yeah. the thing. Like I wasn't amped. Like I didn't have an ambition to be the best advertising photographer or the fashion or, or whatever. I was just like, I wanted to shoot and I wanted to be, I think I wanted friends really. Like, <laughs> and I felt like everywhere I got to go, I was going to make maybe a friend, you know, and oh, it was cool. That's so relatable. And, um. Yeah, it was just cool. And I got to meet loads of Kiff people. Like, I remember with Roger, like, it was cool. Roger was great. Like, he Roger would, Young. Roger Young, yeah. Editor, Mahala, filmmaker, yes. and uh, interesting character. Yeah, like, he would come to my, he's like, yo, I got a story. And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm like, okay, he, cool. Because he knows I'm going to go do it. Yeah, and he's also adventurous. Like, yeah. he would, like, that's one thing. Like, I was never, like, a proper Hunter S. Thompson type because I wasn't going to go and like live the life some people are going to go live. I was just going to go to gigs and write about it. But this wasn't so much a gig, but this was like, a, we went, it was like 2013. He hadn't like kind of fallen off the world yet. He was still like trying to push like full on stories. And yeah, that's we, what I mean. Like, yeah. and so he, he will win some investigative shit. Yes. Yeah. Well, we went to Brixton to this house that he, he knew. Brixton's kind of like on the edge of the CBD there. Yeah. And um, uh, I'm like, what are we shooting? It's like, well, this guy, he, he, He's a musician, but he is a uh, gro- he's he uh, sorry, uh, cooks meth and he's a transvestite or he's transitioning to become like a female. And I was like, Well, what are we going for? It's like, Well, I just want to talk to him. And he's like a mate, bro, it was intense. <laughs> uh, like, we pull in, I'm like, Okay, cool. There's like all oh, this meth, and I'm like, Like a lot, bro. And I've sampled, and I was like, Oh my word. So we set up in the garage <laughs> and we sh- we shooting him by his old Merc. And then there's this other like kind of Indian this is bully. such a Roger story. Holy shit. Bro, it's like this Indian bully. And I'm I'm filming the dude and he's cool. He's amazing. He's kind of like looks feminine, but he's like in gloves because he's cooking. And this Indian uh, comes out and he's like, what's going on here? And I look down and he's got like a gun. And I'm like, well, we're doing an interview and he's like, I didn't give any permission. <laughs> he's just tweaking balls, bro. He thinks we're after him. And I was just like, Roger, what have you got me into, Rachi? Um, but yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed that. Like afterwards, I was like, oh my fuck, Roger, fuck you. But I, at the time, I was like, okay, keep it cool. <laughs> just keep it cool. Roger didn't even fucking bat a sweat, bro. It was like, he just thought it was funny. He's like, are you filming this? Did you get the guy with the gun? <laughs> I was like, I got him, bro. Don't worry. That sounds about right. Yeah. 